Today's lesson is called A Challenging Future. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today we're going to continue talking about future changes caused by the coronavirus. Remember that、uh, virus is still with us, and it's probably going to be with us for many years to come. That's what scientists are telling us. Yeah, we'll probably try to get rid of it as much as we can, but we'll never be able to totally stamp it out. So, of course, we're going to have to change our lives because the virus and maybe other viruses are going to. To continue to be around us, perhaps forever. Perhaps forever. Well, maybe not forever, but a lot of scientists do think that it's not going to be one and done. Oh yeah, one year with COVID nineteen, and then that will be it. No, some people think that the coronavirus is going to linger around for a long time before gradually becoming less and less serious. So. Our lives are going to change. We have a challenging future ahead of us. Yes, this new normal—it's going to involve all sorts of tweaks to our daily lives. Tweaks, and then also public health measures designed to reduce the spread of the coronavirus. Though、so、there you go. Speaking of those tweaks, okay, soon we might start installing doors all over the place that don't require grasping or holding on to a handle. Further. Offices, they well. If you actually do return to an office to go to work and you're not working remotely, well, those offices they might do away with the whole open plan thing, the open floor plan deal, and bring cubicles back. How about that? All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll start reading the second part of our article called "A Challenging Future." Any new public health measures designed to combat COVID-19 will also likely affect some industries, either killing them or forcing them to evolve. As a result of lockdowns and social distancing, for example, movie theaters lost billions of dollars. However, online streaming platforms saw a huge increase in popularity and profits. To what extent certain industries are able to recover their traditional ways of making money? Will depend largely on how strict future public health measures will need to be. 各位好，第一部分我们看单字 combat 这个字是动词，指与点点点对抗、战斗、打击。例如 ，firefighters were pulled in from all over the city to combat the huge fire. 消防员被从全市各地招来对抗这场大火，或是。Extra guards patrolled the border to combat drug trafficking. 为了打击毒品走私，加派了卫兵巡逻边境。另外，这个字也可以当名词，指战斗、搏斗。做名词时念作 combat。我们可以说 ，Soldiers need to prepare for combat, so they must have lots of training. 士兵必须为战斗做准备，因此他们要接受许多训练。接下来，我们看到名词 lockdown， 意思是封锁。例如。The government asked the citizens to stay at home during the lockdown. 政府要求市民在封锁期间待在家里。Okay, let's talk about the contents of today's lesson right now. And the first paragraph here begins. Any new public health measures designed to combat COVID-19 will also likely affect some industries, either killing them or forcing them to evolve. So again, we've got public health measures, things that the government are going to do in order to stop the spread of the virus. They need to combat COVID-19, and of course, because of those health measures, various industries, various companies are going to have to adjust their Going to have to change, and they're either going to be killed off; they just won't exist anymore because of those health measures, or they will have to evolve. And here we've got the verb to evolve, which means to slowly change over time. We usually use this to talk about animals in evolution, like how animals change over thousands of years, how humans have evolved from ancestors that also evolved into apes in a different direction. 
So here, these companies will have to evolve. They'll have to make changes. Like the travel industry will have to change. We'll fly on airplanes in different ways. We'll go to restaurants in different ways. Yes, there are going to be changes. We're just going to have to accept them. Now here it says that these public health measures are designed to combat COVID-19. When I think of combat, I think of war. And yes, combat. You can use the word as a noun or a verb. Here it's being used as a verb. Here, if you combat something, you fight that thing violently. Usually in a war, but not necessarily. You can say that two people they combated one another. They were fighting violently. And here we're not really fighting COVID-19, but we're doing our best to wage war on it. We are combating it. So. We've got industries, and some of them are going to be disrupted. And if they don't adapt, okay, they are going to die. They need to either die or evolve in order to survive. Anyways, the next sentence says, as a result of lockdowns and social distancing, for example, movie theaters lost billions of dollars. However, though, online streaming platforms saw a huge increase in popularity and. Profit. So this idea of going to a movie theater, sitting next to someone in the dark there with popcorn and drinks and stuff like that, and watching a movie—that's not going to come back. It's never going to be the same as it was before. So that's going to be bad for these movie theaters. They're going to lose a lot of money. But hey, if you're Netflix or Amazon Prime, you're probably doing quite well right now because online streaming platforms saw a huge. Increase in popularity and profit. So more and more people were using these services, and these companies were making more and more money, more and more profit. By the way, popularity here that refers to the level to which something is popular. Well known or used. The popularity of、uh, miniskirts, for example, in the 1960s, lots of people like to talk about that particular subject. But yeah, movie theaters may be a thing of the past. That is one, perhaps, example of what's going to happen in the future. And to what extent certain industries are able to recover their traditional ways of making money? Will depend largely on how strict future public health measures will need to be. So yes, there's a relationship between public health measures and the survival of various businesses. We've got the traditional ways of making money. As one example, the movie theaters, but it could also affect shopping malls and restaurants and places like that. Health measures will certainly change those a lot. There you go. So, if there are big changes, maybe those traditional industries will never come back. If those changes are small. Maybe those traditional businesses will be able to do things like they once did. It will be business as usual. But here's the thing: small measures are really not going to have much of an effect on COVID-19. We won't be able to control it well if we only take small measures. So, it's a very, very kind of delicate balance we're going to have to strike here. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. But while some effects of the pandemic have been fairly easy to predict, others have been more unexpected. For example, much of the data used to forecast the weather is collected by commercial airplanes as they fly across the world. Now that flights are at an all-time low, meteorologists have much less data to go on, and this means our weather forecasts have become less accurate than before. In the future, this lack of data may severely affect our ability to predict extreme weather, such as hurricanes, and to monitor climate change. The second part, we see the word "forecast." This word is a verb, meaning to predict. For example, economists forecast a slow recovery for local industries. 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 Meteorologist 意思是气象学家。例如 ，the meteorologist forecast rain for the weekend. 气象学家预测周末会下雨。再来，我们看到单字 hurricane 这个字是名词，意思是飓风。例如 ，when the hurricane hit the United States, many people lost their homes. 那个飓风侵袭美国的时候，许多人失去了家园。最后，我们看到动词 monitor 指监测、监督。像是 these machines are used to monitor brain activity. 这些机器被用来侦测脑部活动
，或是 The scientists had monitored the bears for weeks. 科学家已经监控熊群好几周了。另外，这个字也可以当名词，有以下两种意思：第一，指荧幕、显示器。举例来说 ，Todd bought a new monitor for his computer, so he gave me his old one. Todd 买了一台新的荧幕，所以他把旧的给我。第二，指监视器、监听器。我们可以说 ，There are many monitors inside the airport that show the latest flight information. 机场里有许多监视器，以传达最新飞行资讯。Now, here in the second portion of our lesson for today, it says, "But while some effects of the pandemic have been fairly easy to predict." Others have been more unexpected. Okay, so yes, indeed, we can use logic and we can try to figure out, and we can pretty much figure out exactly the kinds of changes we need to make because of viruses. Okay, the effects of the viruses have been easy to predict. We kind of know what they're going to do, but others are unexpected. You know, sometimes these viruses. Are kind of sneaky and they're unfamiliar to us, and we cannot predict what's going to happen as a result of a pandemic. Let's give you an example here. Much of the data used to forecast the weather is collected by commercial airplanes as they fly across the world, and this will be, of course, very important to the good people of Taiwan because, hey, we need to have news reports about approaching typhoons. Typhoons can cause lots of damage, and if the weather reports are wrong, that is big trouble here. So we need lots of data to. Forecast the weather. Forecast just means to predict what's going to happen in the future, especially with the weather. We almost always use the word forecast to talk about the weather, but you know, commercial airplanes collect all that information, and you know, flights are being canceled and people are not traveling as much. So I guess we don't have as much information, and typhoons are going to be very dangerous as a result. So there you go. Now that flights are at an all-time low, meteorologists. Have much less data to go on, and this means our weather forecasts have become less accurate than before. So there you go. Weather people have gotten very good at predicting the weather, but they were getting really good at predicting the weather because they had lots of data. Now they don't have this data. Their forecasts are not as accurate as they once were. So in the future, this lack of data. It may severely affect our ability to predict extreme weather, such as hurricanes, and to monitor climate change. And none of these sound good to me. It says here this lack of data is going to severely affect our ability to predict extreme weather. So basically, okay, we've got this ability right now to predict extreme weather, and that's going to be affected in a really big way, in a very drastic way. That's what severely means in a severe or drastic way. Exactly, and、uh, we won't have as much information as we did before concerning hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones. And also, we need that information to keep tabs on climate change, to monitor climate change, to check on temperatures and stuff like that. So that could be trouble. We probably need to figure out another way to get all that information in order for meteorologists or weather forecasters to tell us how the weather is going to be. Okay, let's move on now to the third and final portion of our lesson for today. We'll listen to it first, and then we'll summarize it. A world where COVID-19 does not conveniently disappear will certainly present many challenges. For now, predicting and preparing for what those challenges might be is, unfortunately, the best we can do. All right. Here in the third and final part of our lesson, it says, "A world where COVID-19 does not conveniently disappear will certainly present many challenges." I guess that's the bad news here. Most of us are probably hoping that this virus will go away someday and everything will return to normal. Nope. Sorry. 
Bad news is we can't tell you that it's just not going to happen. This virus is going to be around forever. It may, you know, go down in number quite a bit, but of course our lives are going to be changed, and we still don't know how our lives are going to be changed 100. So for now, predicting and preparing for what those challenges might be is unfortunately the best we can do. Unfortunately is an adverb that we use when we talk about a bad situation. Okay, so for example. Example, you know, I originally wanted to travel to Kending this weekend, but unfortunately, something came up at the office and I had to cancel my travel plans. So yeah, that was a bad thing that happened. Unfortunately, there was a turn of events that were bad. And、uh, on the other hand, though, we may think of some ways to adjust to the situation and figure out ways to make money. There you go, Rod. You're you're always finding the silver lining on this cloud. Yeah, maybe we can turn this to our advantage and make some moolah, some sweet sweet cash. So there you go. For now, what can we do? Well, we can prepare the best that we can based on what we think. Is the best course of action as far as COVID nineteen is concerned. Is that optimal? Is that great? No, but it is the best that we can do. We can't do better if we don't have the data or the experience. And sadly, this pandemic is a brand new thing for us, and it's going to usher in. A new normal as well. All right, folks. With that, today's lesson on COVID nineteen and the challenging future that it is presenting us. Well, it's in the books now, but don't worry, don't fret. The Chinese teacher is on her way. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Hanny. We're going to look at today's lesson on the word "challenging." 课文第一部分的最后一句写道 ，To what extent certain industries are able to recover their traditional ways of making money will depend largely on how strict future public health measures will need to be. 好，这个句子又长又复杂，我们来看一下它的结构哦。句子的主词是 To what extent certain industries 什么什么一直到这个 making money 指的就是说某些产业能恢复他们传统赚钱方式的程度，能恢复到什么程度？好，这部分呢，它就是用名词子句 to what extent 加主词加动词这样的名词子句来当主词用。其中这个 to what extent 就表示到什么程度，意思相当于 how much 或是 how far 等等。那刚刚说到这个恢复传统赚钱方式的程度，他们可以恢复到什么程度呢？所以课文后面就接着写到说 ，will depend largely on 主要将取决于什么什么。后面再用一个 how 引导的名词子句来当受词来表达说取决于什么东西。好，那我们这边就来复习 W H 疑问词引导名词子句的用法。W H 疑问词像是 what who。When, where, why, how 等等，可以引导名词子句，在句子里面当主词、受词或是主词补语用。要特别注意的是，以名词子句去当主词的时候呢，必须视为单数，后面要搭配单数动词。例如 ，What she did for her friends。Is thoughtful. 他为了朋友们所做的事是非常体贴的。那我们句子里面的 What she did for her friends 是当主词用，所以后面搭配了单数动词 is。好，那同学们有没有注意到课文句子里面的受词部分是 How strict future public health measures will need to be？ 它不是 how 主词加动词的结构，而是以 how。加上形容词或副词，再加主词，再加动词来当名词子句。当我们在 how 后面加入形容词或副词，是用来强调有多怎么样，有多么怎么样。像是 Lisa told me about how excited she was to see her idol in the flesh. Lisa 告诉我她见到偶像本人有多么兴奋。那么名词子句 how excited she was。To see her idol in the flesh. 这个名词子句是当受词，也就是当这个介系词 about 的受词。好，那我们最后补充一下，偏语动词 depend on 或是 depend upon 的用法。Depend on 或是 depend upon 后面可以接人或是接事物。那么常见的意思有两种。第一种呢是表达取决于什么，是什么什么而定。例如 ，Whether we go hiking tomorrow or not depends on the weather. 
，我们明天是否会去践行，取决于天气。哎，这边注意一下，我们就是用 whether we go hiking tomorrow or not 这个名词子句来当主词，所以后面这个 depends 它是用单数动词，后面有加了一个 s。好，第二个意思呢，是我们可以用 depend on 或是 depend upon 来表达依赖、依靠、仰赖，那意思就跟 rely on 差不多。例如 ，Jennifer depends on her husband to drive her to work. Jennifer 仰赖她先生载她去上班。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们来回顾今天的单词吧。Combat. To combat the disease, doctors suggest that people wash their hands regularly. Popularity. The app has been gaining popularity, especially with teenagers. Extent. The extent to which people have switched to a vegetarian diet varies from country to country. Forecast. Newspapers are forecasting a win for the ruling party in the upcoming election. Severely. David was severely injured in the car accident, but doctors expect him to fully recover. Hurricane. Be sure to stock up on batteries, candles, and food before a hurricane. Monitor. Following his operation, the man was kept in the hospital to be monitored by medical staff. Discussion starter starts now. Okay, now it's time for our discussion starter. Hey, Roger. Which industry or industries might never recover from the coronavirus crisis? Well, I think the meat industry won't be able to recover because it relies on people coming in close contact with animals, and that's what brought this trouble about in the first place. People are getting closer and closer to animals, and animals got those viruses that make the jump from animals to humans. So we're going to stay away from those animals. So you'll see fewer and fewer cheeseburgers and steaks out there, and we're going to have more vegetarians as a result. How about you? I don't think pubs are gonna make it. Okay, back in the day in the UK, pubs, public houses, where people in a neighborhood got together to chat and talk and do all sorts of social activities. But I don't think that people are going to want to go to public houses or pubs anymore. They're not going to be as popular in the future because those types of activities are exactly the type of thing that is going to spread COVID-19. So I think pubs are going to go the way of the dinosaurs. Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See, See you next, next time. time.